guess we have any public comment, so I guess we'll turn it over to Christopher. Um, this is just um, a reconvene for the biannual reevaluation of our cigarette access rates. When we passed it, which was in January of 2022, is when it got raised to $20,000 per SFU. Um, you all made the motion to revisit the topic every two years. Doesn't have to be changed every two years, but there has to be a discussion. So we're a little past due. Um, we are um, after that two year break. And it is the will of the committee to um, change it, um, keep it keep it the same or change it, you will have to vote on that. <clears throat> At this point I'll all ears and open for any questions you may have or we'll start discussion on it. I will ask this question. Has there been any pushback much on the last time we raised it? Pushback or complaints? Pushback. I mean, uh, is it slow anything now? No, no, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to. There have been some vocalization of, of surprise well, about how high it is. but Yeah, and I understand that nobody likes increase, but. Well, but we're not slowing growth at all because. I have not noticed that, and if we are, this fee is not the one slowing the growth. $20,000 per SFU. Um, the first 5000 of that still goes into the general fund, and then the next fifteen goes into the sewer access reserve fund to be used for economic benefits of the county. Mm -hmm. Anybody else got a suggestion or comment? Or? I think it's. 20000 is a pretty substantial amount for SFU, but I will say, to me, uh, it looks as though any future sewer project may fall more uniquely or more independently with the county to undertake, uh, because it doesn't seem that, at least it's my my opinion that it doesn't seem that Lebanon is terribly interested in doing like re uh, uh, redoing a, a, another project of this of this magnitude. Mm -hmm. So if we it would probably be along the lines of us going to Lebanon saying we want to extend this line and we're going to pay for it type thing. So that is something to think about going forward. Um, um, it's a, it's a valuable of commodity and it's a finite commodity. Yes, so only so much of it. Yes, sir. And we're down to approximately how many years? Um, Couchville Interchange has 223. Stewart's Ferry Interchange has 457. Um, yeah. uh, Couchville Interchange was down to 200. The Lanham property, which is Wilson Businesses, they failed to pay the reservation fee. So that 23 SLPs they requested rolled back into the fund. They, they failed to pay the 10%. They, they'll be back. Yeah. Yes. When they get and, and the other thing I'll mention about couch flow is you've got a good bit that will likely come from that development that y'all just recently rezoned uh, to, that's going to do all the improvements to McCreary. Yeah. Yeah. They, they'll they'll take down quite a few yes. if and when they build. I think in preliminary talks with that engineer, their estimation is 41. That's just an estimation. And well, depending on the tenants, it'll change. But that was their original estimation for that reason. I just went down the credit. I don't know of anything else that hasn't gone up in price in the last two years. And as our, the number of units gets smaller, then that's something that we've got to think about. But once we run out from the period, or maybe putting in a new line to, or doing something, or else we're just out of, out of units. So I, I'm not opposed to, to increasing the rate. I, I don't think that short of going just exponential is going to do anything to, to turn any, any growth to alpha. I don't know what anybody else might think about that, but um, I, don't, I don't know that Dublin it would be appropriate, but I don't know maybe the 30 might be all right. I think Dublin would be too much. Like you said, I think it'll make the law up. And, and if we're at some point in the future, then the county is on the hook for. Well, 
It just depends on where you guys want end up wanting development by the land use plan or by political rezoning. I will tell you in the scale of economic development you're talking about um, that we've had down there. I mean, I think that's probably still, if the infrastructure's in place, the best place to put it in the county. Uh, uh, you do have some residences impacted, uh, but certainly most everywhere else you look, you probably got more residences impacted uh, anywhere else. Sure. Any word recently on the, about the Rollins property over on 452? I haven't heard a thing. Have you? No, they kind of went um, quiet on me. Um, you say that corridor through there is probably the absolute best place in the county to put any kind of mm -hmm. major development like that close to I don't know. the number of people evicted or just. They like, have paid the small. reservation fee, and that was paid January. I believe of 2023. It's so, a two year, right? Yeah. So they're about a year in, almost a year in by the time January. Well, they'll have until January 2025. Maybe, maybe, you know, it's only got two months. Oh, I thought it was January of 24 that they would. Maybe that's when it might be January 24. I'll double check that one. That was not why I was going to me, like I'm not going to But the, the only thing I've heard at all was they were working around trying to find where they were going to get water. And they were they were talking a little bit, they and Panatoni were talking a little bit with Rutherford County Consolidated and, and um, Town the, the county mayors about the county line there and trying to clean it up a bit between them. But I don't think we got anywhere on that. That's the rest I heard. No, the discussion with the mayors, um, they opted to not redraw or approach that from the county standpoint to redraw the county line to make 452 a dividing area. Um, so now it's up to the applicant on whether or not they want to pursue that request. But originally there was so much property entailed there. Um, I was working with Mayor Hunnell in order to have the county kind of spearhead that. Um, but talking to the mayors of Smyrna and Rutherford County, they decided to opt out of that. They did not want to exchange. It was going to be a property swap south for north. Um, Let's get back to our conversation about rates and then we'll move forward. Anything else? Was that a motion you used to make? Or? I'll make that as a motion. We raise the rate from 20000 to 30000 How do you want to? How would anybody want to do the breakdown on that? Still have just the first five going to general and the rest of it go into I would think so until we see a reason to do different. I asked Aaron and anybody we thought we needed to keep laying it separate in case we have the opportunity to use it for a sort of expansion in some way in the future. And certainly from what we're sitting here discussing, it sounds like there may come a time where we need some funds. Motion, I'll second it. A motion or a second? All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. aye. All opposed? I have a, I have a question. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I'm fine with the motion, the vote. Mike, is is this committee's decision, I'm just refreshing my memory, is this committee's decision the final word on that rate increase or is it got to go county commission? I had Danielle call Georgia today trying to find that out myself. Do, do y'all have a copy of any resolution we took in county commission? I've got all the, all of the, no. I've, I've no, got I it somewhere, but I, I don't think I've got any rate resolutions ever. I think they've all been here, but we've only done it once, really. Yeah, um, two options, I think, and I don't know the answer. Uh, one, it goes to the county commission to be raised, or two, when we said it, the county commission said this committee can raise or lower it as they see fit. Right. I'm kind of leaning towards thinking that's what we did, we did, so it wouldn't have to come back up there. But I don't know that. We didn't take, I didn't write a resolution for the county commission last time we raised it. It was all done here in this body. Okay. I'd like to see that original resolution. I mean, when we, we've got. One or two of them. So send, send it to me tomorrow. Okay. When you get a chance, I know you ain't got to do point nine over the forty seconds. Well, I guess the next question then is depending on whether it needs to go to county court is when it will become effective. That was going to be my question on when you wanted to make it effective. Yeah, and I noticed on your handout here that you've got one that's set in the next meeting date. Um, so, do you make it effective? 
let me ask you this: so whoever's making that application, are they expecting it to be twenty thousand? I would say so. I would say yeah. so. They, they well, for that matter, I'd say the guy that's putting all that money into Vesta and McCurry uh, expects it to be twenty thousand. Yeah. I, yeah. I apologize, but if he's yeah. checked on it. Yeah. It is what it is, Larry. Well, I was just thinking if they've already made an application. Okay. Well, they but if they just talk about it. They made an application. They have submitted they to submit. me to get it going for you, and I did not worry about calling you because they did it on Friday. Well, so I was just like, I'm meeting with them on Tuesday. We'll if that's the case, then I assume we need to accommodate them and let them come before the committee before we would increase on them. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, anybody but that has submitted. The way I would look at that is they haven't walked in here of any of their other construction calls. Yeah. So well, price concrete jumped 50% overnight. Well, this that's building's already existing. Yeah, it's already got Oh, that's true. But one, he's talking about they're asking for additional capacity in an existing building because of the tenant change. Out. I would see that being different. I believe this is the same building that Snyder was in. You might want to make it effective immediately then except for anything that is a pending application. I would say that one works fine for everybody. You know, we need to vote on that, my life. Probably do. I'm going to make that as a motion that effective immediately, with the exception of anybody with a pending application. I'll second for it. I'll second for We have a motion and a second. And I'll clarify that if I need to clarify part of the meeting with that being the request to pull one of my roads limited to them. Right. That's all my request for the arm. All right. No, in favor? Aye. 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 The Lanham property, they they chose not. They did not pay their reservation fee, so by default, it goes back into the pool. So they will be subject to the new rate. They will be subject to the new rate. They will also be subject to an approval by this board. Well, that's, and, what, and that's why I say it. Yes. And they need, they, they need to be made aware of that when they come back. See, it's not a... I'm still, yeah, I will. I and mean, um, I know you will. I can notify them tomorrow if you want me to. Um, uh, well, do, I tell you what, don't, if Mike needs to reaffirm it, uh, before, before you tell anybody that, if you yeah. got to go for the county court. Something tells me that, you know, we kind of, uh, at the time when we set this up, the commission wanted this body to take care of it. I don't remember what we did two years ago. I, well, I don't remember doing a resolution to you. I don't remember. I don't remember both. I don't remember both. Not in county court, but I can't. I can't mm -hmm. say so. I've got a feeling that original resolution or the last one, whichever we did. I don't remember as we even had a discussion about it there. What we raised yeah. three. I, I really don't know there, but like I say, that you need to verify that Let's for me too. Sure. Yeah. yeah right. You don't want to tell somebody that and that not be the case. Yeah. If the county court didn't vote in favor of it. So. You um, just fast Georgia email that over to Daniel and I'll look at it tomorrow. And did you, I think the last time we did this was the first time that we established this and you established that we would look at it every two years. Every two years. I did have a question about that. You would look at it. Do you, want me, it. do you want me to get back on track and I'll make a note in my records um, to look at this in January of every even year or do you want to do two years from today? Well, two years from today, we're going to have two years, October, and that, like I say, it, it does have to go to the county court or anything. That'll give time to get it done before the end of the year, that way. Okay. We're also not bold to have to wait two years either. Something no, you happen. do not have to wait two years. Um, you just, just said you would want to evaluate it at well, least every The reason for that, I mean, we went. 20 over 20 years without it addressing it and that was a bad mistake we all realized that but for, you can't try to script it so, you know, they, they, they may cry with milk now i don't know i just we'll see um, anything else we need to discuss the one thing i can think of the back home just overall planning mm -hmm. down in there is Rutherford County consolidated, I think, is the sewer provider, or it's either them or smart enough. It's, it's, it's fairly relatively close um, across the county line. And 
they may perchance be trying to strike agreements with the water and wastewater department to let them incur into Wilson County on a couple of those buildings that are on the south side of 452 that are in Wilson County, given that we, we didn't do a county line change. Um, Mike, is there anything to preclude us from negotiating with them about extension in addition to Lebanon before the Water Authority? Not to uh, know of, and except they've got to have that the Water Authority, which has got to give up Got, got to relinquish the right to That's what I was looking for, yeah. Uh, but no, I wouldn't know of anything. I think you can trust the county lines and senior lines and that. Um, well, but it does have to be an agreement between both parties. It would, yes. And that would require county permission mm -hmm. for them. Explaining, you know, with what I said earlier, that it's my perception that Lebanon's not terribly interested in doing a whole lot in the way of a partnership. Mm -hmm. They might agree to let us pay for something. I don't know. Smart our road for county consolidated. We'll have to cross that road when we get there, I guess. But we're still a long ways from being out of capacity. Yes. Uh, we we beat into it pretty deep in the last couple of years, just in the Rawlings deal. And those three other units. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's, it's, it's going quicker now than it did the first 20 years. In the way that we've done that rolling on the split capacity between other sections, so if need be in the future, I mean, I, we do have the ability to divvy capacity up. It's not set at 744 units per intersection. That's just how it was written out when it was created. So, I mean, push came to shove to do have another business in Couchville and you're out of capacity. You, I believe you can utilize that student's great capacity if you all wish to. Well, we need to set the next meeting. Um, Tom, you want to say it before you leave? Uh, that's fine if you wish. Um, our, I will tell you our Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be pretty, pretty tight the next month with uh, school meetings. Um, can, I, can I ask you a question? Maybe I'll to ask you privately, but I'll go ahead. Even though you're not going to be here, is this a committee you want to remain on? You're a citizen of Wilson County. I mean, I'd be happy to if that's what the wishes of the committee are. Then that's one thing that he probably wanted to talk about was I just have a larger discussion. The bylaws state that her and I effectively are are on the committee, and it by uh, Karen, I should say, and I are uh, on the committee by default of our position or what have you. So it's a position okay. position and not a person position? It's a position position. It's not a citizen position. Now, I will business. tell you, it's a, it's a weird deal. I'm used to being in an advisory role, not a voting member. Right. I think she would say the same. So yeah. it, 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 is there a way to modify the bylaws to where it is more citizen participation or something like that as opposed to... I think we could take a rule change, I think. I mean, just something to think about. Yeah, no, something to consider. And that way, when you get these things, you get the expertise you threw people around the table. I mean, I don't Still, mind. as you do now. I don't mind continuing to serve if I'm allowed to. Or if you can find a way to. You would have to. to. Well, there's always a way. Have to I, I feel more comfortable about it than I do now, honestly, serving in this capacity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You would have to change some sort of rule because I believe the citizen involved in that president is somebody in the area. Which is Mr. Ray. Yeah. yeah. So when you could have one that's out of area, you have to, you have to change the rules for that. I'm going to set up a note. It may come to where we have to discuss Mr. Earl's position, but we'll hold it off until we see what we need to do about that. Sure. Well, it starts with a new appointment or something. I don't know. He 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 asked me to well, let him resign, and I sort of refused him. So, <laughs> I understand. Well, He's a good one. We'll see what, how that goes, and we'll address it in the future. But anyway, anything else? Still, uh, no. I just need to set that date before we leave. Oh, we 